They're blue. They're old and they smell bad. I know what you're thinking. That sounds like the tub of mushy blueberries you've had sitting in your refrigerator for over a month now. But it's not, it's Jake Kiska's favorite pair of jeans. Over the course of the recently elapsed time, many have dedicated time to ruminate over an enigma of a rather peculiar nature. An enigma over a sudden mania regarding a pair of jeans. And many have posed the following questions. Where did they come from? How did they come into the possession of Jake Kiska? And perhaps the most asked of them all, why the hell does he wear them? After carefully having evaluated the data extracted from the dossiers given to me by some of my most top secret sources, I have been able to conclude that the most probable occasion that the trousers saw the light of day and thus entered the public eye was on the 27th of February 2021. What an absolute shame. Apart from the earliest known image, it is thought to have been on the 5th of April that the trousers made their real social media debut onto Greta Van Fleet social media pages. In the form of a motion picture, the trousers were captured in a high resolution format being broadcasted out into every corner of the planet. And thus the world was never the same. But this was merely the beginning of the unfortunate events that would follow. Soon, people began to take notice. The trousers were on everyone's lips, its mere image stuck to everyone's retinas, and had made it into everyone's hearts. I mean farts. The trousers began accumulating somewhat of a reputation in the community. And like a rapidly spreading wildfire plaguing the planet, the trousers would soon have made it into people's phones, everywhere. Comments fan accounts, memes. The community was flourishing. And it was all due to the consistent presence of the trousers. It seemed as if suddenly, Jake Kiska refused to wear anything else than the same trousers. And by the time his 25th birthday rolled around, he even refused to change trousers before weeding out the flower beds that same day. Do you see the discoloration? I'm surprised Josh even let him anywhere near his bleached white sweatshirts. I'm sure the flower beds turned out nice though. Time went on. The trousers deteriorated. What had first seemed like a steadfast ship, standing robust against the vicious waves of the perilous seas, was now gradually crumbling into bits, resembling what looked more like a ragged old piece of cloth for each day. What had started out looking like this, now, looked like this. Interviews, nights out, and in important moments of his career, the trousers were always there. There was no sign of Jeek ever letting the trousers retire. They say if you love something you should set it free, but as love often does to you, Jake held onto them with an even greater force, in a ruthless grip, with every fiber of his being, as the fibers of the trousers severed bit by bit. Speculations have led people to believe that it is in connection with the isolation during the pandemic that his sudden mania for the blue jeans began, as it was about a year into it that we lost into the trousers. Forever. Considering the fact that the man had managed to live through a year's worth of a deadly pandemic at that point, I will cut the man some slack. I must admit that despite the circumstances, the man was doing better than what we had all expected. I think we're all thinking it. For how much longer can Jake milk wearing these god awful pants of his? They are dirty. Discolored. Ripped in several places. Stitched up as if they have undergone surgery. He must really love the pieces of shits. 
and we love him for being so passionate about the things that he loves. Just like his band. But as all good things, even this had to come to an end. And Jake to his senses. And it seems as if he finally did. One day, the trousers seemed, but a memory. He began wearing all his nice pairs of trousers again, almost as if he had forgotten the certain pair that he had let dictate his life for the past year or so. As it turned out, Jake had donated the trousers to the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum, where they can now be viewed sitting inside a glass display case, heavily guarded day and night. All was well. Or. So we thought. You should come with me to the end of the world Without telling your parents and your friends You know that you only need say the world so we might live at the end of the world